All right. Thank you everyone again for joining us. Uh, today we will be going over uh, the third level programming, but again, before you do anything with the control board or even powered on, please check out our video on the mechanical setup. Um, and we also have a few more videos of first and second level. This one specifically is in third. So if you remember from the last videos, the way to get into programming will be push and hold the function button. And now we're officially in first, pro first level programming, but we wanna to get to third. So of course, F and plus at the same time, I like to do kind of like a F plus. So F plus, that's second level. F plus, that is third level. All right, so we are officially in third level programming. Uh, that is the advanced setup. This is more for like, if you have one boom uh, working for entrance and exit. Uh, so like, you know, secure side coming in, free exit on the way out, uh, you'll be able to uh, mess with that a little bit. Of course, the manual will go in depth a little bit more about that. Uh, you have your PDM function or your PD function. This is actually more or less set uh, to be hooked up with our parking systems. Um, then again, we will go to P2. Now this is gonna control what your outputs actually are here, right? So P2 is for output two, and then you could change it between normally open or normally closed uh, in its resting state. Same thing for P3, P4, and P5. This specifically is for your outputs to make them normally closed or normally open. All right, our next one will be RS. Uh, this is if you have some sort of electronic lock uh, hooked up to the tip of the boom. So you'll be able to mess with how long it act deactivates the lock for the boom to go up and down. Uh, OS, this is our opening speed. <clears throat> so normally when you first install, they come at 20. Uh, so be careful, of course, you know, for the demo purposes in the short arm, I have it at 55, uh, but you wanna crank this up gradually uh, as you mess with the boom. Uh, you don't want to just go straight to 90 and you have a six meter boom and then you karate chop somebody in half. So, you know, just make sure for the most part, you're, you know, you go along with it slowly and check it out and make sure it's running nice. Cause of course you want it to run smooth. Uh, smooth is long lasting. Uh, so we keep 55, it's back to OS. We will go to CS, that is your closing speed. All right, and then we have our FP. Uh, speed selection input. So that is more for like, again, for parking systems. So third level is big into hooking up to parking systems. Um, you know, you could disable, enable, or you can have the, 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 the MU36 cap lights basically, you know, let you know if there's parking available or not available, things like that. And of course you have the FR, uh, which that is swing boom sensor. Um, that is for the fracture kit. So I don't know if you guys know about this, but we also, if you saw the earlier mechanical video showing you the Omega, uh, we have a special Omega that basically when they hit it, it actually, instead of the arm being ripped off, uh, it will, you know, pop open and there would be like an interlock uh, on the Omega. It'll pop open and it'll stop working until you pop the arm back in and the interlock is seen. And then of course, so that's an extra, that's a different kind of Omega called the Fracture Kit. Pretty cool, check it out. Our sales guys will be able to help you out. And then of course, that's the last level right there, ST. We've reached the end of our third level programming. And of course, pushing F one more time will save everything that we did and take us back to the normal menu. Thank you so much.